I wanted to make this video because I like my reasoning behind doing all these videos and all these topics is is to share my point of view and my experience and and I'm almost not almost I'm 100% sure that someone else out there is going through the same thing we're coming up on our five-year um, anniversary of being together which is kind of more important to me than our wedding anniversary which is one year that passed already because we've been together for five years almost now in November on November 21st and whether we're married or not when we decided to commit to each other and move in together we were committed like 100% we before we even moved in together we talked about the kid thing we talked about sharing our money we thought about uh, we talked about expectations of each other um, and we were pretty clear on what each other expected have we been living up to those expectations of each other probably not but it was all on the table and we kind of knew what we were getting ourselves into being new parents and being I don't care about the newlywed part because we've been together for a while it's the being new parents and being a couple it brings on a set of whole new issues and it's 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 all complicated because he has his thing that he's going through as a father and as a man and I'm going through my own thing as a mother and as a woman. Now, he might not have the physical changes in his body, but he is now responsible for another life. Um, before, he used to be kind of, sort of, in a way, in his eyes, responsible for me. Um, but now he's responsible for this little person, too. So, he feels so much pressure to provide. And he's been going through some changes at work that has affected our income and I noticed that his shift in like confidence and in um, the stress level has has really like been affected um, so that's on his end I don't know a hundred percent that side of the story I just know mine and it's been very hard for me to focus on everything and still keep our relationship a priority and that completely sucks because my relationship is important to me my relationship is a big part of my life I mean without him I wouldn't have my son so my love for Ronald has not changed it has deepened to another level but our issues that we had before have morphed and they have improved but they've morphed into something different and something different for example intimacy before our intimacy was great intimacy as in holding hands kissing like having sex all that you know we, we would make that a, not even a priority it was something that just happened between us because it happened we were attracted to each other to each other and all that and I'm not saying we're not attracted to each other anymore it's just now instead of just work 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 being with each other it's work Artemis and each other and Artemis is above everything right now for both of us and for example our day is like this I get up I um, I feed him no I don't feed him anymore because he usually has a bottle already so I change his diaper I give him a couple of toys in his crib so that he can entertain himself while I get ready and I let Ron sleep a little bit more around 6 6 30 ish maybe 7 is when if Ronald hasn't gotten up by this time I'm like hey I need to head out or miss is in the crib and I hand them off I kiss them both goodbye and I go to work I don't come back home sometimes until 6 right now it's 5 32 so I'll probably end up being home at 6 and then Ron on his side, I'm not sure because he doesn't have a set schedule like me. I'm an 8 to 5 person. I have a very set schedule. Monday through Friday, 8 to 5, but I've been working overtime because I have a lot of things to do at work. I've had a lot of, a huge workload. So I've been working overtime and I have been coming in on Saturdays. During those times, my mom does take care of Artemis, but Ron is at home. So they kind of share the responsibility. So Ron has kind of taken on the primary role of taking care of Artemis now that I've been at, back to work 
and everything. So our roles are very shifted right now. He used to be the main breadwinner in our relationship. And now that that role is kind of reversing and we're, we're both earning an equal amount, he's not the main person that's, that's the breadwinner. We're actually pretty 50-50 now. Um, before it was like 90-20, 90-20, 90-10. <laughs> but now it's, it's very balanced as in income, but as in responsibilities for Artemis and stuff, I have to say, he has been the main, like, person to be with Artemis because he has such a flexible schedule um, that he works a lot from home sometimes. Sometimes he's out on the field. He's making a lot of phone calls. And I think that's where his stress has come because he's doing both. He's at home with Artemis, playing with him, feeding him, changing him handing them off to my mom sometimes sometimes my mom hands them back and while she's doing whatever she's doing so they've been sharing that responsibility and it's been getting stressful for him because he and my mom can't communicate she doesn't speak english she doesn't speak spanish so he's been under a lot of stress and a lot of changes and i'm i've been on work 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 try to make as much as i can right now as in income and trying to not feel so guilty about missing out so much on Artemis' upbringing. So we've both been really like on an emotional level. Now with all that going on, where is the room for us? Where is the room for intimacy? And when I say intimacy, I'm not just talking about sex. I'm talking about talking about our day without talking about the stressful part. I'm talking about holding hands. I'm talking about kissing. I'm talking about just sitting together and being together and that's where I think we've been dropping the ball <clears throat> I don't want to get emotional but I noticed a really big change in Ronald this past weekend his mood was very very like stressed out and sad and just down and I've never seen him that way before and it, it, it really scared me I'm like we are like letting go the most important part of our relationship we've somehow let it slip through our fingers to to make more of an effort for us and that's where i'm at right now like we talked about it it was so hard for him to to let me know that that's what was bothering him that he didn't feel as close with me anymore and he's wondering like is it something that he's doing wrong or you know and it's not a subject that we've never talked about but it's never been we've never felt so disconnected before and I understand completely that relationships go through these phases where there's moments of extreme stress an extreme crisis sometimes with each other's families losing a job losing like a loved one um disagreeing on like where to live like so many things can affect a relationship and put you in those you know peaks and valleys of like emotional roller coasters and all that but it's like right now it's never been where we never made time for each other or we didn't have that as a priority and it's it's a little scary to me because my relationship with him is very important and I never want him to feel like it's not I never want him to feel like he doesn't matter to me because he does he I love him so so much um and so I know I'm not the only one who has gone through this. I was talking to him during lunch today. He came to, to see me to take me out to lunch and I told him, I hope you don't think we're the only ones who go through this. I hope that you sit back and, and really think about this. And we're not the only people who've ever had children. We're not the only first time parents in the world. I'm 100% sure that people go through this all the time. And even when we're in therapy, um, we talked about stuff like this. So, I wanted 
to be completely clear with him and let him know that it's just like the conversation I had when we were when we were pregnant when I was pregnant I was like it's not you it's not that I don't care about you or don't love you or don't find you attractive or that you're not my priority anymore it's not that it's that we're going through so many changes and these phases are gonna come as long as we keep open communication with each other and try to understand each other and not feel embarrassed to talk about whatever subject is at that moment bothering us we will make it through because I love you you still love me right he's like of course <laughs> I'm like I love you I still desire you I'm still attracted to you I still want even holding your hand still makes me completely completely giddy so it's like it's not that it's that we just need to make it more of a priority oh. <laughs> so that's what I wanted to talk about and god <sighs> with everything that's happening and going on with everything oh my god I feel so shitty that I am not making more or enough of an effort to at least sit down with my husband at the end of the day for like two, three, four, five, six minutes and just hold him or just sit with him and, and hold his hand or sit on his lap and kiss him or something to to feel that closeness still to remember that we're still here you know I'm getting emotional about this because it's it's hard but I know that we're gonna be okay I know that we're gonna make it through this because I have so much faith in him and faith in our relationship and faith in my love for him I do so so much is happening god being an adult really sucks it fucking sucks <laughs> but there are so many good things happening too so I'm just gonna try to keep focusing on the good stuff too and not just dwelling on some of the negative stuff that are happening so <laughs> Jesus it's like I'm crying every other day <laughs> at least that's what it seems like on here because that's all I record sometimes but that is where I'm at right now <laughs> um a lot is coming up this month. Ronald's parents are going to be here on Friday. I have a birthday party on Saturday. On Sunday, I have a barbecue for my brother's birthday. And then the next weekend is a wedding. And then the, that Sunday is going to be probably a barbecue for Ronald's parents before they go back home. So, a lot is going on. And then the weekend after that is going to be Halloween. So, October is full. Um... I will see you guys next week.